Will 8 at BT be a good buy given its proximity to the MRT and the fact that the projects right next door like Reserve Residences and Link at Beauty World were nearly sold out on their launch days? Hello everyone, I'm Vivian and welcome back to my channel. In today's project analysis series, I'll share with you my thoughts on 8 at BT, a 99-year leasehold development at Bukit Timah Link which is just 3 minutes walk from Beauty World MRT. This project features 158 units ranging from 1 to 4 bedrooms and is expected to TOP in quarter 4 of 2027. Let's start by assessing whether the one bedroom units are a safe investment for you. This layout at 517 square feet could be a deal maker or breaker in my opinion. The inclusion of a household shelter and kitchen window is a major plus, but the absence of a balcony could be a significant drawback. With this in mind, will this make sense in terms of investment? The starting price of a one-bedroom starts from 1.344 million and if we take a 75% loan, the monthly mortgage would be about $4,250. Looking at rental estimates from nearby developments, 8 at BT is likely to command a slightly higher rental due to its proximity to the MRT and being brand new. Therefore, we can estimate a rental income of about $3,500 per month. Comparing the potential rental income to the monthly mortgage, the rent doesn't fully cover the installments. So does this mean you are going to rent it out at a loss? To determine this, we need to calculate the total cost of renting the property. From the monthly mortgage of $4,250, we should subtract the interest portion since it is an expense and not the principal which will be returned upon selling the property. After factoring all the other costs, the plus point here is that your tenant can still cover most of the monthly expenses. However, this also means that you will still have to top up a portion of the mortgage principal out of your pocket each month. Therefore, this property purchase would act more as a form of forced savings rather than high rental yield investment. For the 2 bedroom units, there are two types which is the 2 bed 1 bath at 624 square feet and 2 bed 2 bath at 732 square feet. The key difference between the two is that the bigger unit comes with an extra powder room, bigger common bedroom. What I like is both units offer a rare 4.8 meter wide living room frontage, a household shelter and ventilated kitchens with bathrooms with windows. These are the things that you will usually see more often in the bigger units which are 3 bedroom onwards. Of course, every unit will come with its pros and cons. For the 2 bedrooms here, the common bedroom in both layouts only fit a single bed and there is also no balcony and the 2 bed 2 baths powder room is not a full bathroom. Between the two floor plans, while we can know that the 2 bed 2 bath layout is more appealing, in terms of entry price, it should be considered wisely. Take for example, with both units priced at 2,600 per square foot, the 2 bed 2 bath comes with a significant price difference of $280,000 to $300,000 over the 2 bed 1 bath. So does this premium actually make sense from an investment perspective? If you are considering this a rental investment, let's start by comparing the rental income between the 2 bed 1 bath and the 2 bed 2 bath units. This is the average rental in the area for a 2 bed 1 bath which works out to be $4,200 while a 2 bed 2 bath averages $4,300, a mere difference of $100. Considering the entry prices of $1.622 million for a 2 bed 1 bath and around $1.9 million for a 2 bed 2 bath, this means you will require renting at a much higher premium to justify the additional cost for the 2 bed 2 bath. To summarize the 1 and 2 bedroom units at 8 at BT, many units selling here will likely set a benchmark in the area. 
from my research, I also noticed that the supply for small units here is quite significant with 52% of the 1,280 units being one and two bedrooms and surrounding resale units priced lower. If you are buying for your own stay with a long-term horizon, this could actually work well. However, for those considering this as an investment, it is important that you factor in that it may take a longer period to see returns depending on the market conditions. Now, before I move on to the three bedroom, could you take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel so that more people can benefit from my content? Moving on to the three bedrooms, it has four different unit types ranging from C1 to C4. The main difference between C1, C2 and C3, C4 is the bigger unit types have a bigger wet and dry kitchen and all their bedrooms can actually fit in at least a queen size bed. Out of all four unit types, C4 is the only one that offers private lift. For budget conscious buyers, C1 is a good choice as the price difference to C2 is at least 280,000 with very minimal differences in the layout. My most preferred out of the four units will still be type C3 as the floor plan has all the possible attributes which families are really looking for in this area. On top of that, you can likely get a much higher floor at the same price as C4 if you can do without the private lift. Next, let us go to the 4 bedrooms. 8 at BT's 4 bedroom come in 2 different sizes. First, the 1356 square feet and second, 1593 square feet, both featuring private leaf lobby access. The main difference between the two is the bigger unit comes with an extra powder room, bigger bedroom 4 and a bathtub in the master bathroom. Since 4 bedroom units tend to be for bigger families, the layout for the 4 bedrooms here in this development might not be the most suitable type. From my experience having served many resale buyers, families often need more bathrooms and the lack of a separate WC for the helpers means shared bathrooms which could be an issue for future buyers. To sum up, 8 at BT offers a range of unique types with unique features like proximity to MRT and functional layouts. However, for investment standpoint, it's important to carefully weigh the entry prices, rental income potential and supply in the area taking into consideration that you might need to hold longer term. If you require professional advice on your property purchase, do reach out to me and my contact methods below and I'll see you in my next analysis.